Hey there, PokePants. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Matt, and we are now officially in Regulation G. This is going to be a very exciting video. I'm hoping that we uh, see what everyone else is playing, and I know that I've got my notebook right in front of me, and we're going to officially start climbing the, uh, the ladder here. I want to know what you guys have seen so far, so let me know down in the comments what you guys have found, and I will share my findings a little bit later today. I haven't played any of the casual ladder. I just couldn't have time. Work is picking up a, a lot. So even like this Saturday, I have to work overtime. So I don't know if you'll get a video yet, but I'm gonna do my best so that you guys don't have to worry about it. But for now, as we're getting into this things, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe as I do all of the YouTube -y things and they do help out the channel quite a bit. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so, ooh, Maridon. Not Maridon, Coridon. Duh. All right, so we got Ride On, Fluttermane, Urshifu, Walking Wake, Whimsicott, and Raging Bolt. Okay, so assuming uh, that's not a, a Rapid Strike Urshifu, it might be Single Strike, but everything else seems pretty interesting on, on this build. We're gonna try to rely on neg uh, negating um, their priority attacks and Realistically, only two people have them, which is like Raging Bolt and Whimsicott, but we should be fine if we set up other ways. So we'll bring in uh, Tornadus, because I believe that they're gonna bring in Sun. Obviously, that's what Crydon is for. But the thing is, is that he maxes, or he caps, or like matches Fluttermane speed. So I might be in trouble here. In the event that I'm not, we should be fine. I'm gonna bring in Tornadus, uh, Roaring Moon, Let's bring in Fluttermane and uh, Groudon would not be a good choice, right? I don't think so. Yeah, you know what? We'll bring in Groudon, why not? Groudon does offer some sort of uh, competitive leeway. It's my Assault Vest build, which I, I probably didn't mention this in, in the beginning. One, how many matches we're gonna be doing, because I don't even know. We're gonna at least do five, but I will get into the EB sets and everything like that later on, because we're just testing out to see what everyone else is doing. All right, Walking Wake and Coridon. Versus. Ooh, that's gonna stop my Protosynthesis boost. So what I'm gonna do instead Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do Rain Dance to turn that off. Terra, Acrobatics, right into Coridon, because this should work as intended. Now, Coridon could swap here to do something else, but we're gonna make sure that it's raining now so that we turn off the abilities of both Walking Wake and Roaring Moon. Open up with two dragons, even though those are like two very strong dragons. Is very, really interesting. Now, Rhydon has a lot of weaknesses. Okay, Terra is going up first. It's going to be Coridon. Okay. Fire. Not a bad Terra. I think I have mine as some um, dragon just because I wasn't 100% sure what I was doing with that. But my Coridon has the clear amulet, so I'm not expecting to, to lose there. We're gonna Terra Flying. Now we don't get the super effective move against uh, Coridon now, but that's totally fine. So now I get rid of the, the rain. Booster energies, or the uh, Protosenses now wears off. I still get the boost while uh, Walking Wake loses it. Collision Course. Right into Roaring Moots, not very effective. Hydro Steam. Oh, interesting. Okay, I see what they're doing there. So they have max speed investment on Coridon. And then I think they have something for, um, uh, what's, blah, 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 blah. They have something for a uh, walking wake. So because of that, we're gonna rain or tailwind. So now I outspeed, and I'm gonna go ahead and power gem the Coridon. 
we're probably going to lose this because I I'm gonna outspeed now which is totally fine but I wasn't expecting to be outsped right away from walking wake I don't even think he outspeeds generally so he's probably scarped if he is not I'm gonna look him up real quick Hopefully this doesn't crash my computer. It's the 109 base speed, so probably not. 177, he's slower. Our gem on the Crydon does not get the KO. Gets really, really close, though. Dragon Claw. Okay, Hydro Steam. Right on the Tornadus. Now we're locked into Power Gem, so I can't really do anything about that, but now we can bring in Groudon. We got the Protosynthesis boost off the Fluttermane. And yeah, they're gonna get a boost too, which is unfortunate. Special Attack was heightened. Do Precipice Blades and Power Gem. Activate this. Coridon goes down. 205 is definitely going to be a problem for me. Instantly. Precipice Blades. I now. Okay, I outspeed uh, Walking Wake. Oh, that looks so cool. Hydro Steam. Uh, okay. Don't mind me, I was just writing. Uh, we're calcing for walking weight. Because I wasn't expecting that to knock out uh, Groudon. Like he's, su he's supposedly supposed to live like a lot of different things, but walking wake is one that I didn't calc for, for the Hydra Steam. Oh, pretty safe to say that we lost this one. Yep, okay. Which is totally fine. This is why we have like the first few episodes where we test these out and try to see what we can come up with. But not only that, but I also want to see what everyone's playing with and the kind of strats that they're walking in with. Now, Walking Wake having Scarf is pretty interesting because you're walking in with like these really cool effects. Or at least uh, these really cool turns. Because like turns, turns, Jesus. You put a lot of pressure. It's just like having Tornadus on the field immediately. So it's really, really interesting. But I also like the the, uh, the animation in the back. How the lightning's coming down and stuff. That's dope. Okay, so we got Maraidon. Ooh. Iron Bundle. Sceptile. I think that's his name. Iron Hands, Iron Valiant, and Incineroar himself. Interesting. So what do we do to counter? I have an idea of what I could do with Maraidon, but it's... It's very, very finicky, super finicky. But what we could do is walk in with, I want to walk in with Groudon, Chi, and Pao just so that I can get rid of Maridon's ability because that's what's definitely going to happen. Yeah, let's do that. Plus we can uh, negate whatever Maridon's going to do for, for a little bit there. Uh, they do have some people that take priority. So we're going to bring in Fergraph and for the rest, I kind of want to bring it. Yeah, you know what? Let's bring in Fluttermane. We'll leave our uh, our Tornadus behind in Roaring Moon. It's probably like a bad choice. I know that that might be the case. Tornadus is the only way that I can keep up with everyone's speeds if they decide to do other things. But I'm really excited to see what Iron Bundle walks in with. A lot of people haven't been able to use like the Protosynthesis or the Cork Drives for the future Pokemon. So I'm super excited. They actually get their ability. So you have an actual like electric surge user that isn't like Garbo. So this is dope. Can't read those. But we have 
Iron Hands and Maridon versus Groudon and Chien Pao. Now, I already know that the Fake Out could be going over to Chien Pao for sure. So what I want to do instead, turn on the Drought so that we don't have to worry about anything. Let's do Prep Blades. Terra Ghost um, Ice Spinner into Maridon. Now, Maridon's gonna outspeed for sure. So, unfortunately, I'm. Brought, well, we, we speed tie. We speed tie. We both cap at 205. I'm just stopping Fake Out. I was into Groudon. Just totally fine. Ice Spinner. He's gonna take away the electric field and knocks down Maridon. Thank you, Subspace, for allowing me to uh, look through your team because that right there is the exact reason why <laughs> I was able to know what that calc was. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to look at that. Pet Iron Valiant is next. And it gets the booster energy. And speed was heightened. Okay, we can heavy slam into that guy. And I'm gonna protect on Chien Pao, actually. Iron Hands can't get through anything, and Press of His Blades could do quite a bit of damage here. Wide guard, so you're hoping that the blades are gonna go right into that slot, but actually, Heavy Slam's gonna go into that one. The one hit KO. Crowd on set, fat beast. Super heavy. Brain Punch goes right into the ground on. Uh, summon the Peckish. Oh, Iron Bundle. Yippee. Let's swap to Fluttermane, and I'm just going to go ahead and Sucker Punch. Well, you didn't get your... <gasps> oh. Oh. Wait, no, 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 no. He outspeeds, he outspeeds, he outspeeds. Never mind. He, he outspeeds. Not doing that. Come back, route on. Bring out Fluttermane. It's probably going to get a turn of the boost. Probably. We don't know. I'm only saying that because the Drain Punch from Iron Hands could go into that slot. Sucker Punch is going to fail because... Uses Encore. Okay. Okay. Oh, you wild charge. Dope. That makes my job a lot easier, actually. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Dazzling Gleam. Swap to... You know, let's switch. Let's swap to Groudon. Come on out, Groudon. Terra comes out. Probably Iron Bundle. Nope, Iron Hands. Okay, Terra Water. That's new. That's absolutely new. Bundle Protects. Dazzling Gleam. So, Heavy Slam. Oh, Wild Charge. Into the Flutter Main slot. We survive. I'm locked into Dazzling Gleam though. You know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna switch. I'm now just gonna go ahead and brick break. The iron bundle. As I think oh, there's ice to win. It's enough to get the KO on the Flutter Main, but it does drop Grout on speed one stage, which is not very fast. Break, break. Drain Punch. Okay, Sunlight Faded. It's 
bring out Chin Pao. Let's sucker punch that guy, and I'm gonna go ahead and press it with blades. Okay, protect. Good call, because that was the other option that I could have done. I'm going that way so I could do just a little bit more damage and I still outspeed um, Iron Hands. So as long as he doesn't dodge this, he gets knocked out. Oh, okay. Boom. Iron Hands goes down. Still a strong Pokemon. He was probably more of a problem when the Electric Surge was still out. But because it's no longer there, I have nothing to worry about. Which is dope. Sacred Sword. Not Sacred Sword. Um, Sucker Punch and Brick Break. Okay, battle's canceled. My guess was Bundle was walking around with his sash. So it could have done something drastic there, but I still had one Pokemon left in the back and I don't, I never brought it out. So they didn't know what it was, thankfully. But because I never brought it out, they didn't know what the speed tier is going to be like. And I did damage him quite a bit there. So yeah. Ooh, Ice Rider Calyrex, huh? Torkoal, Annihilate, Urshifu, Indity, Brute Bonnet. And yeah, like I said, Ice Rider Calyrex. It's barely, like you can barely see him down there. I'm not sure why his sprite is so small, but it is what it is. Okay, so we may have to do a trick room or something along those lines. Um, I kind of want to bring in Chi and Pao and like go in with Roaring Moon and just to kind of get a set us like start us off. Do I have anything that takes care of Ice Client or Ice Rider though? Uh, I might. So we'll we'll start with these three. Do I have to worry about priority on their side though? That's another thing I have to worry about. Probably not. Wouldn't assume so. Yeah, we'll just bring in um, Chi and Pao, Roaring Moon, Fluttermane, and Groudon, and I think that'll be good for us. We'll leave Furgraph in the back. It's like not seems like a lot of people are not using priority right now, which is perfect. I love that for me. But I do have to stop Indity using uh, Trick Room if I want to survive, because uh, Ice Rider is a Trick Room person. So as soon as they come in, that's when I start applying pressure. Uh, I don't think Heat Crash is going to do a whole lot here. Groudon has Heat Crash, by the way. So. Hmm. Okay. Ice Rider Calyrex and Entity has one, has two abilities. Unnerved, so I can't eat berries. Sort of ruin. Okay. Boost energy activates on Roaring Moon. Now, does Calyrex get follow me? I don't think they do. So I think I'm safe. Just to Sacred Sword into that slot, Terra. Yeah, we'll Terra flying knockoff into the entity so that we can knock it out so that we don't have to worry about trick room. They will get one turn to attack. So I will have to try to defend myself that way. Uh, another thing that, um, no dragon Terras. This is just like a mental note for myself as we've seen Fluttermane and then we've seen Ice Rider, which are two Pokemon that are definitely able to knock out like Pokemon that I could possibly set. They're going to Terra and it's going to go to Ice Rider to make it water. Nope. That is a weakness that I do have. I know I don't have anyone that does electric type moves, so that's something to consider. Sacred Sword right into Entity. Knock off. So the follow me was to go up there and to make it so that I didn't hit um, Ice Rider. I knocked off safety goggles. Ice Rider can also do trick room. Oh, you sly devil, you. 
You sly devil, you. That's so dope. Coco comes out. <sighs> sly devil. I think the double would be worth it here. Like, no one on my team is slow except for Groudon, and his speed is 118, which means he's not... He's not going to be slower than those guys over there. Um... Let's acrobatic. No, let's knock off um, whatever Calyrex have, has on him. I think that's going to be the best choice. Here comes Eruption. Oh, come on, Roaring Moon. I thought you would be able to survive that. Okay. Initial Lance. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring out Groudon, shall we? Let's go ahead and Ice Spinner. We're going to Ice Spinner into that slot. I don't really think it's going to really matter too much, but we're going to press the Blades. Eruption. Chain Pass out of here. That's a lot for a crowd on though. That's a whole lot. Facial Lance. Super effective against Ground on. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really, really cool. This is a loss, by the way. We we lost this one. Waterman's gonna come in here and not gonna be able to do nothing because they were able to. I thought Sacred Sword would be like a better better thing. I should have went with ice. Uh, ice spinner that might have been able to put us into a better spot, but nope, nope, we're we're done though. But that's okay. Uh, with our fast team, Trick Room would be the thing that would like hinder us like a lot. So we're gonna give up here. Um, no, no use trying. Torco is just gonna like okay. Well, you can't use priority, which is totally fine. But you completely shut off my like tailwind. So. I mean, if it was different, like maybe if I had taunted Alarex, which I don't have taunt right now, which might be something I bring in here. So instead of in Rain Dance because I'm using a Sun Team, taunt would be perfect. So, yeah, interesting stuff. Okay, so we got, ooh, Grimmsnarl, Zamazenta, uh, Sinistra, Iron Jugulus, Tinglu, and Amoongus. This is an interesting lineup. I'm not 100% sure how to deal with Zamazenta. This is the first time I've seen him actually being used. Zamazenta. We're going to be looking at that Pokemon after uh, the video. So that's cool. Um, for us, though, let's open up with Groudon. Yeah, Groudon, Fluttermane, um, Roaring Moon, and Chi and Pao, I think. Yeah, because I don't. I don't know what they're planning on doing, but if I open up with Fluttermane and get like the, the boost off, we might be in a way better spot. I would like to know what Zamazenta is now, typing wise. I want to say fairy something. Oh, no. okay, nope. Closing that out. Zamazenta and Grimmsnarl. Yeah. Dauntless Shield gets a defense boost and only happens once. So everyone at home, please keep that in mind. It only happens the one time. Um, what are you gonna do? What, Grimmsnarl? Are you gonna put up a, a thing or no? You're probably gonna fake out Groudon. You do have that op that option. Keep crash. Do you know what? Yeah, let's do Brick Break. Let's do that. Let's immediately put you in like immediate pressure. Now, Zashian and Zamazenta, I believe, have the same speed. So they are really, really fast Pokemon. 
I don't think that's going to be the case, but we'll see. Terra goes over on their side, which is going to be Zamazenta. Terra Water. Okay. Seems like a water, a lot of water Terras. Light Screen. Okay, you're going to lower down the damage that I can, that Fluttermane can do, which is totally fine. Dazzling Gleam. Ooh, Grimstar almost gets knocked out first try. Game of Bash. One shot to Fluttermane. But you are slower than Fluttermane. That's interesting to know. And Brick Break. Not so cool, but cool enough for me. We got Chin Pao. Okay. So that was a steel type hit, which would hurt. Let's do Heat Crash on the Grim Snarl. And let's Terra Sacred Sword into um, Zamazenta. We're going to get rid of his uh, defense beast. So now it just depends on what, what they're deciding what to do now. Reflect. Okay, so this lowers down physical damage. Sacred Sword. Iron Defense. Okay. Heat Crash. Grim Snarl is gone. This is interesting. Since she comes out. They've already done their Terra, so they can't do anything more. This is going to heal. It's in the back. Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon would be beneficial to have out. But I do not trust... Let's do Brick Break and Ice Spinner. No, let's double into Sinistra. No, Brick Break. And yeah, well, Ice Spinner. Sinistra can't go faster, and I believe I can one-shot it. Oh, I don't. That's, go that's gonna screw me. I mean, it's not gonna be Trick Room, is it? It wouldn't make sense, but Macha Gacha is gonna do a lot of damage. I press. Oh, crowd on this with 5 HP. It's not a lot of HP from Groudon. If it was like the other way around, that would have been huge. Sin like Sinistra would have healed like for a ton. Can you get the burn? Are you serious? Oh no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bring out Rolling Moon. It's a boost from the sun. Two more turns for that before his thing pops off. Let's go ahead and hit him. And I'm gonna sucker punch Sinistra. Okay, Rage Powder. That stinks. Sucker Punch is gonna fail now. Knock off. I mean, it's still a very effective move, but now I'm gonna get hit with Body Press here, which is gonna hurt a ton. Pop. It's a body press set for Zamazenta. Interesting stuff. 
Problem is, now it's just Chien Pao versus Iron Jugulus and Zamazenta, which I still can't do anything to. And Speed of... Okay, yep. Speed of Sightened. We're, we're donezo. <laughs> we are donezo. Let's just attack Zamazenta to see what we do. It's gonna... Oh, you Iron Defensing? I want to know what Zamazenta was going to do. Interesting. Yeah, but this is a loss. Just totally fine. Ooh, Terra Water, huh? We might have to have ways of erasing stat boosts. So, clear smog or haze. And that might need to be what we bring on. So, we have Weather War. Somewhat terrain war and stat increases and a lot of fast Pokemon. Interesting stuff. Got our first Shadow Rider. Okay, we've got Pikachu with that with Ash's hat. Uh, Calyrex Shadow Rider, Tornadus, Urshifu, Ditto, and Ogre Pod. Oh, Ditto, my main man. What are you gonna do? Seth, I have to be worried about other Pokemon. Calyrex Shadow Rider, I definitely have to worry about him immediately. We're going to bring in Tornadus, Roaring Moon, and Chien Pao, and um, I kind of want to bring in Groudon, but with Ogre Pond on the field, it's going to be really, really rough. If I use my Terra on anyone else besides Groudon, it puts me in a very weird position. I think Flattermane's going to be it. We'll leave Fergraph and Groudon in the back. So in this particular match, what what do we have to deal with? Best of ones, clean sheet, or um, bow sheet. What do we have? Shadow Rider and Pikachu. Why Pikachu? Why Pikachu? I'm confused. I am really confused. Let's go ahead and set up Tailwind. And then Terra. Let's knock off whatever Calyrex is having. Probably do their Scarf. Uh, could be Specs. It could also be Focus Sash. They're going to open up the Terra. And it is fighting. Okay, you're probably walking around with um, Aura Spear. So then my Terra makes a lot, a lot of sense. But the Pikachu is probably going to have a heyday because it's literally two Pokemon that's weak against it. Oh, you fake out. Oh, interesting. Uh, too bad, though. Uh, Covert Cloak. Yeah, or, um, tornado says no. Knock off. There's that. Life Orb. Okay. Astral Barrage. Ooh. Tornado's barely hanging on by a thread. Let's go ahead and Bleak Wind Storm. And Acrobatics. I think Roaring Moon's gonna attack first. Yeah, we'll go after Calyrex. Calyrex protects, which is totally fine. Acrobatics. Let's hit the Pikachu with the Bleak Wind Storm. Does it hit? Yes, it does. Oh, not enough to get the KO. Pretty close though, and we get a speed drop. Nuzzle. Okay. That drops my speed by half, but I don't think that really matters right now. Don't think it does. That one's good for two more turns. Liquid Storm. 
And I'll just go ahead and knock off whatever Pikachu ha has on it. But Pikachu, huh? It's interesting. Calyrex retreats? Is it just this Pikachu that only has Fake Out, or is that like a special one? I'm not sure. Withdraws the Pikachu as well. Brings out Tornadus and Ditto, which is going to copy Roaring Moon. But it doesn't copy the Terra. That's interesting. Liquid Storm. Speed drop on the Roaring Moon. Ooh. Ditto faints before it could even do anything. But Claw. Interesting. Usually they come with like Scarf or something. Because you don't, you're not like really sure what it's going to be like when you first bring it out. So you're just kind of like guessing realistically. Calyrex has two abilities. You can't eat berries and that's as one. here and acrobatics that slot I'm gonna try to save tornadoes because they can use tailwind here which then they would be able to outspeed me okay and I just want to try to prevent that as much as possible yep there's it there's that so now do they have Tailwind, or uh, do they have Taunt? Because that's what I'm trying to prevent now. I do not, like, I'm going to activate Tailwind next turn. If they do have Taunt, then, um, good show. If they don't, then I should be fine. But I'm going to protect on Roaring Moon just so that I can have a little bit more out of him. Okay, they didn't use Taunt, so it's going for an attacking move. Master Barrage. Grim Nine. God, I love this music. All right, now we'll bring out Chien Pao, and this is when we start bringing our in our victories. This is when we start doing our victory lap, boys. Let's go. Because now we can Ice Spinner into Tornadus, and we outspeed because we have Tailwind up as well. Or we can go straight into um, Ice Spinner Calyrex, and I know that we outspeed because Roaring Moon was able to outspeed. So, let's take out the Calyrex, and I'm going to Acrobatics uh, Tornadus. You outspeed? Since when? You shouldn't be able to outspeed at least Chi and Pao. I outsped you before. Why would you? What? Interesting. Nice spinner. Down goes Cal uh, Calyrex. He still has Tornadus and he still has Pikachu in the back. Pikachu has like barely any health though. But here comes the Bleak Wind Storm. Oh, it's going to miss. Let's go. Chi and Pao bringing up the rear. Let's go. Let's go. Out comes Pikachu. And here comes Fluttermane. We're going to go ahead and protect on the Chien Pao, and I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam. This should knock them both out. Should, being the keyword. If they're, I think they're in range for where I'm currently spec that. Fake Out is going to fail. As it went over to the Chien Pao. 
I barely outspeed Tornadus. I want. Oh, I don't knock out the Tornadus? I mean, I knock out Pikachu. That's dope. Open Storm. I'm gonna miss the Chimp out. It's gonna, it is gonna hit the Fluttermane. And, oh, their Tailwind's gone. That stinks. And this is our game. Oh, okay. So. Terra fighting on Calyrex. Is that a test? like Terra or is that like officially the right Terra? Interesting. I'm absolutely not 100% sure how this is going to go for this season, but that's totally fine. Right now I do have the team set up in Pokemon Showdown and I do have the rental code which will be posted uh, in this video. So if you guys want to use it, you're more than welcome to try it out and give it a shot and I will be posting the EV spread of what I have for this current team in the comments down below. So watch out for those and we're going to move on. Okay, Kyogre, Pikachu, Fergaraf, Urshifu, Frostmoth, and Brute Bonnet. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, how should I counter this team? I mean, they have Fergaraf, so. They just want to stop priority as much as possible. I have no way of dealing with Kyogre though. Absolutely none. I don't have any electric attacks. I don't have any grass attacks. I have nothing. So I think the best that I could do is maybe change the weather and maybe change up the way that I will counteract um, Groudon. So we're not Groudon, but Kyogre. So we'll bring in Tornadus Groudon uh, Chi and Pao, and I think Roaring Moon's gonna be it. So we'll walk in with all physical attackers and do our best with, uh, Tornado setting up for, um, Tailwind. So I have currently three special attackers, three physical attackers, and I'm primarily leaving Fergraph out for a lot of these, because I just don't think I need to use it. Kyogre and Pikachu come out first. Drizzle. No. Although Drizzle would have been perfect for, you know, Tornadus, but no. Um, we'll go ahead and do Tailwind, and I will then do... You know what? It's Terra Dragon, and let's do Press of its Blades. We're going to open ourselves up to Ice Beam, but if they do Water Spout, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. We're going to outspeed Kyogre, though, because of Tailwind. Don't know what this Pikachu is going to do, but we do open ourselves up greatly for the, the potential miss here. But at least we'll negate, or at least um, resist water attacks since I'm now Terra Dragon. No wind. So now I outspeed. Rest of his blades. I missed the Kyogre, but I do hit the Pikachu. It survives due to Sash. Do you have Endeavor or something? You do. <laughs> Origin Pulse. Misses Groudon, but it will hit the Tornadus. That is so funny. You have Endeavor. People are using Endeavor on Pikachu now. You guys are hilarious simply hilarious. Bring out Chain Pal. And let's go ahead and Ice Spinner the Pikachu. Do I wanna do I do I wanna focus on the Pikachu? It has to use Endeavor, but if it gets hit with anything on my side of the field, I don't think it's gonna last very long. Let's do... I need to be able to knock it out. I need to be able to knock it out. You know what? We're gonna Ice Spinner the Pikachu. 
and I'm going to Precipice Blades, everything else on the field. Withdraws the Pikachu. Out comes Brute Bonnet. Ooh. Yeah, you take advantage of that, but your attack is going to get heightened, but it doesn't really mean anything. Kyogre protects. Oh yeah, this Brute Bonnet's going to get really screwed over. Ice Spinner. Knocks it out. It's done. And a single strike press of his blades would have would have done a lot of damage here. And a ton of damage. Okay. Whoops. So what are you going to do now? What is your master plan? Send out Baraferig. Huh? Let's Ice Spinner. No, let's not do that. Let's Sacred Sword and uh, Precipice Blades. Okay, saw that one happening. But your Armor Tail stops, like, um, whatever I could do. But with that. I do a little bit more damage to you. Rest of his blades is gonna miss for a grab because of protect. Do I hit the Kyogre? I do. And bop. Down goes Kyogre. Your big attacker is not off the field, and my dragon has been here the entire time. This kind of looks pretty. <laughs> you did stop me from harassing the Pikachu though, so good on you for that. Um, but I'm gonna Sacred Sword the, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna Sacred Sword the Pikachu now. And I'm gonna press up his blade so I can hit both. Never mind, battle is cancelled. Not a bad way to leave. Um, I'm gonna try to bring up... Serebii, because I, I want to check Pikachu real quick. Does he only get fake out from that one thing? Uh, separate hats. These cannot be red or evolved. They can only benefit from the Eviolite. Interesting. I want to go down here. Fake out. It's an egg move. And... Yeah. Pikachu can have it. It's an egg move. Interesting. I did not realize that he got it. Huh. No. Yeah, that's, re that's really something. I thought it was just because of the fact that Pikachu had a special hat on. That would make sense, but no. That's not it at all. Keep going. And that, ladies and gentlemen, and Pokefans alike, is going to be the end of today's video. We start off with Season 18 at a 3-3 rec uh, record, 6 battles total. I didn't mean to record 6, but I'm hoping you enjoy the extra fight, because I messed up trying to do the outro. So, there's all that. We're going to have the, uh, the Great Ball ticker and everything like that in there. It was recommended. You guys want to see it till we hit Master Ball, then we can have a lot more fun. Uh, like I said, um, two fights ago, we're going to have the EV spreads of this current team on the comments down below. They might not be implemented right away, but if you guys want to see what the team is, you guys can hop into the Discord to, to get all that. We've been discussing it uh, throughout the day, and I will post the set that I'm currently using on there as well. So with that... Out of the way, let's go ahead and close today's video out because I've got a lot of editing to do and I am super excited to play some more. This is dope. Like I get to see all the cool legends and actually compete with like the, the top people now. This is this is pretty exciting. But I hope you guys enjoyed the show and if you guys have, please leave a like on the video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't. Please comment down below what you guys thought of today's video and whether or not that I made some horrible plays or not. As a first day of like, a really good learning curve uh, as i do reply to any and all comments that you guys leave behind 
So I definitely do appreciate it. Plus, you can interact with the channel and help it grow a little bit more. That'd be dope. If you're a new viewer, hi, my name is Matt. I do VGC content and I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the show. If you guys want to see more, there's a playlist at the end that will show a lot more videos since we're just into season 18. This is going to be really exciting. Uh, we'll try to have a video for Saturday. I do work overtime. So by, if you guys don't see it, usually by the time that I post videos, uh, assume that it's not, or could be something a little bit later, but I'll let you know on Friday if uh, that's going to happen or not. So we'll see. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, please hit the subscribe button. You guys are already here. I'm hoping you, you guys enjoy the show and the subscribe button and the like button should be lighting up and you guys can click that, click the notification bell to notify you when you when I upload next. Since it's a brand new season, we'll be uploading quite a bit. I want to go seven days a week again, but we'll It'll depend on what I have for like coming for work and stuff. So it's up in the air. We're going to uh, plan for seven, but if I have to skip a day or two because of work, then that's just what happens. I can't really skip that. Uh, but other than that, that's, that's all that I've really got for you. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the show and I'm excited. Let's do this season 18 with really cool legendaries. And I cannot wait. I seriously can't wait let's go let's do this this is gonna be so much fun thanks thanks for watching i'll see you all next time till then have a great day peace